So welcome to Earth Live, a webcast featuring interviews with people working on the front lines of conservation. Today, we're really excited to be speaking with Matthew Swartenberg from the French Development Agency, who's joining us from Paris. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Hello, Andrew. How is, how is your day going? So my day uh, after a very pleasant summer break uh, was quite okay. Thank you. Brilliant. And you? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And uh, just to let you know, this is the first ever interview that we've done for Earth Live. So no pressure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what, what do you do at the French Development Agency, Matthew? I'm task team leader, which means that uh, I'm trying to conceptualize and shape projects, uh, development projects uh, on uh, issues and to try to bring a better future for forests. So when we were doing some research on the French Development Agency, we discovered that it was founded in London in 1941 by Charles de Gaulle. Can you tell us a bit more about that, please? Yes, yeah, thank you, Andrew. Uh, IFD is, in fact, uh, is indeed uh, the descendant of the what we call what we can call in English the Free uh, Bank uh, for Free France, so la Caisse Centrale de la France Libre, uh, which uh, which is uh, which we can consider as the oldest uh, aid agency in the world. And uh, from, uh, from this uh, hostile period, uh, the mission of the French Development Agency has changed and, uh, and it's now an agency which works to, to bring a more sustainable, which more to implement the sustainable development goal and uh, to, to bring a brighter future uh, to territories and population. That's amazing. So having been founded in 1941, you guys bring a lot of experience to the table when you're dealing with foreign countries. Yeah, we learn, we learn a lot from uh, our success and mistakes. And uh, we are now entirely focused to be 100% uh, aligned with Paris Agreement. So that's our main vision today. And that brings us to your announcement. So you've got a big announcement to make concerning the Democratic Republic of Congo. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, uh, it, 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 it's it's quite interesting. In fact, uh, we we are collaborating with a, an initiative uh, led by several countries: Norway, uh, Netherlands, South Korea, uh, Germany, France, uh, United Kingdom, and European Union, which is called uh, the Central African Forest Initiative, which intends in six countries uh, located in Central Africa. Uh, in the most forested country in Africa, uh, which intends to support uh, governments' uh, commitments uh, to a low carbon development. And within this framework, a uh, French development agency uh, has received funds from this, uh, this, uh, this Central African Forest Initiative, which is called CAFI. And, uh, and so uh, we, we, we made two announcements. The first one is a program to add value on savanna and degraded forest in Democratic Republic of Congo. And the second one, which is called Program to Promote Sustainable Development uh, Forest, uh, Sustainable Development of Forest, uh, intends to support uh, the Congolese governments to formulate its first uh, forest policies and to try to create a viable condition for artisanal or community forestry. And having worked extensively in Central and West Africa, what do you think the biggest challenges are going to be to this project? So, in fact, this project, as many of others, like uh, Red Plus projects uh, and uh, forest uh, development projects or sustainable forest management project or whatever you can call. So they all try to tackle uh, the main uh, deforestation drivers. Uh, these deforestation drivers depend on the countries. So... Most of the people, they, it, it, on a broader issue, so most of the, the, most of the time we heard uh, with the, the public opinion and uh, some journalists too, and some very uh, well, uh, as I say, inten uh, good inten uh, with good intention people, uh, they, they, they talk about Africa as a world, but you have thousands of Africa, you have countries, but you have also uh, 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 very, uh, very, very different cultures, and you have also very different forests within Congo Basin, different et etni ethno linguistic groups. So you have also uh, several drivers depending on the country or depending on the forest and the localization. So in DRC, uh, the main deforestation drivers are 
uh, the demographic pressure, uh, the poverty, and uh, the the traditional the the traditional practice on agriculture, which is called slash and slash and burn uh, practice. Mm -hmm. So the project is trying to tackle this by uh, the project. Uh, so one of the project, mm -hmm. which is called. Uh, uh, trying to add value on savanna and uh, degraded forest in terms to uh, support smallholders uh, to try to shift from their traditional practices to a more agroecological one or try to in fact uh, restrain uh, the impact they have on the forest landscapes while uh, while finding a viable economically viable solution for them Okay, and what is the big, uh, the big kind of dream for this project? What do you, what would be a great success at the end? Of the, so, yeah, the so the main aim is to find the best technical agricultural itinerary, which is culturally and technically uh, adapted to uh, the, the 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 targeted beneficiaries, which are small holders. So the main aim of the project is to find the the best. Itiner technical itinerary which could be duplicated to other uh, uh, Congolese regions. So that's the main aim of the project. Okay, thank you. And to inspire young conservationists, we're looking to ask everybody that we interview if you can re recommend a book or a film that has inspired you. So I, I've read a book very recently which is called The Other Story by Richard Powers and it's, uh, in fact, it's, it's like a it's like, uh, I don't know the term in English, it's 100 Years of Solitude by, uh, by uh, Garcia Marquez. It's, it's, it's the same kind of incredible, uh, of, of incredible book. Uh, and at the end of the book, uh, everything is opening uh, on an old sequoia tree uh, threatened by destruction in California. So I, I, really, I do really recommend the book. But if I have a book which has inspired me all my professional career, uh, it's, uh, I think, one of the first uh, publication uh, book of uh, James Lovelock called uh, Gaia, A New Look at Life on Earth, uh, which, which is the first uh, explanation of uh, the Gaia hypothesis. So I know that there have been a lot of discussion around this thesis, uh, which has been, I think, um, uh, uh, we, where also a microbiologist uh, Lynn Margulis work on it too, and uh, so it it this book learned me uh, the holistic approach and uh, how to also scientifically and not only uh, by wisdom uh, try to find a place on earth. Awesome. And on a personal level, can I ask what it was that inspired you to do the work that you do? Sorry. On a personal level, what inspired you to do the work that you do? Uh, so on a personal level, uh, so I think that uh, in, in this time uh, when I was born uh, in the 80s, uh, I think the political struggle uh, uh, is uh, environmentally driven and, uh, and, and also maybe to find a more, uh, pro, more more suitable solution for and for vulnerable populations. So it, it's more, uh, I think, a willingness to, I think, to, it, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, so my political commitment passed through conservation or at least uh, responsible management of, uh, of natural landscapes. Yeah. Matthew, it's been a real pleasure speaking with you today and to learn more about the work, uh, long-standing work for the French Development Agency. If it's okay with you, we'd like to check in in the future and see how this project has gone, uh, got on. You're more than welcome. Yeah, you're more, you, you, I, I will be very pleased and honoured. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. And thank you for all the work that you do, Matthew. It's been a real pleasure speaking to you today. I'm you. doing just a little piece, but uh, thank you for your, for your friendship and uh, your nice... Uh, a nice welcome. Thank you. Thank you.